I know you've been told some different things. I know that some people have said something other than what I'm about to tell you right now, but I want you to know that you matter. I want you to know that you're special. I want you to know that you are a creation of God, that he was specific, that he was created, uh, creative, that he formed you, that he made you. Everything from the way you cry to the way you smile, everything from your height to your uh, how tall you are, how short you are, everything about you was specific. Everything about you, you know, just as much as your fingerprint makes a specific statement about who you are God has made a specific statement about who you are he molded you he shaped you and then he threw away the mold like there's nobody else like you that is on this planet yeah there may be people that look like you you may have siblings that are twins but there are there there is something about you special and unique and I want you to know today that Jesus loves that special. Jesus loves that unique. There is a specificity to the way that he formed you and shaped you and you matter. You're, you're, you're alive for a reason. You are sucking air because God has a plan for your life. There is something so amazing outlined for you. Your future is bright and there is so much to hope for. So much to believe for, so much to be confident in, so much that God wants to do in your life. You exist with purpose and intention. God loves you more deeply than you could ever possibly know. And that's okay with me because I can spend all eternity imagining in all glory just how great his love is for me. Today, live out of that truth. Today, live from that truth. Not that you got to earn grace, not that you have to find it, not that you have to attain it, but that it has been freely given, that, that Jesus loves you so much and he has freely given you grace, that he's freely given you mercy, that he is freely given of his love. And not that, not that we would take advantage of that, but knowing that we are loved, knowing that we are favored, we can now live from a place of love, from a place of grace, from a place of mercy mercy, not in an attempt to gain it, but in, a, in, in the reality of knowing that we have standing with him. And because we have standing with him, there is nothing that can slow us down as we live out this life with hope and confidence in the creator and in Jesus Christ. Come on, guys. You need to be all that God called you to be. Not because you are trying to get somewhere, but because he is leading you and he's loved you from the beginning. I mean, I mean, seriously, how much more are you going to experience in life? How much more are you going to pursue, pursue God's goodness? How much more are you going to find fulfillment and peace and comfort? How much more are you going to experience real life? How much more when you live in a place knowing who you are in him instead of trying to get there with him? You, you understand what I'm saying? Go get it. Know that you're special. Know that you're loved. Know that you are beautiful. And there is something so very wonderful about you. And that he loves you like you're his favorite. Hey guys, go get it. Be blessed. Be encouraged. I hope today is amazing.